Hello and welcome back. I haven't made a video in a while, but I had some new ideas, so I thought it was time for a new one. Now, in the prior videos, I talked about how to get a Mac 512K onto a modern network. We used a program called EasyShare on the Mac 512K, which piped over Apple Talk on a local talk table. Uh, to this case, a uh, PowerBook G3 Wall Street model, where I'm running some software called Rumpus, which would share out its share as um, an FTP server. Um, we connected to iPhones, iPads, and iMacs last time. What I didn't go into last time was that in addition to being an FTP server, it also can serve files up through a browser, which is pretty cool. It's got a web file manager in it. So this makes for some interesting possibilities for devices that don't have an FTP client but do have a web browser. So, case in point, uh, Nintendo 3DS here, which I got recently, and it does have a web browser. And as you look down here, you'll see there's a bookmark button, which I'm going to go ahead and click. And I've already got the uh, PowerBook G3 bookmarked in here, which is serving out the 512K's floppy. So we'll go ahead and go to there. And as you connect, you'll see the web file manager, which is a little difficult to see. But basically, you can upload files over here, and you can create new folders um, here and also delete files. It'll list the files that are here. Right now the floppy disk is blank. So I thought for sure I would be able to get in and create a new folder, name it, and delete it, but I was not sure about uploading files. So I was very surprised, and we're going to zoom in here a little bit so we can see this better. I was very surprised um, that when I went to upload a file on the 3DS that it actually did go into the file system to some extent and it would take me to, into the photos application program to upload photos. So here is a 3D picture of my two Macs. So we're going to go ahead and upload that. And as you can see it's got the file in there and all I have to do is go in and click send file. And floppy drive fires up and you will see the file there uploading to the 512. Okay, and then if I go back down here and hit uh, refresh, we will now see the file in the file uh, browser. So there it is, and if I uh, click on this link, it will start downloading it from the Mac 512K. And there it is. You can't see it in 3D, of course, on this video, but there it is, streamed from the 512's floppy back to the 3DS in all its 3D glory. So, um, that was pretty cool. I was able to upload it and re-download it. I can, of course, uh, save it here. Uh, we don't need to do that. We're going to go back to the file manager and see that little trash can there. Let's me delete files as well, and it'll ask for a confirmation here. And then it'll delete it and take it away from the 512 screen. So, um, we are in fact able to have a Nintendo 3DS talk to a Mac 512K. So that's pretty cool. I was able to, in other experiments, I was able to make new folders, rename them, delete them, um, stuff like that. Um, but being able to upload right out of its file system and re-download them again and save them is pretty cool. Um, I hope to explore some other older dev uh, devices that just have browsers in them but not FTP clients and I'll make further videos on uh, those in the future. So thank you again for your time and I uh, hope to see you soon. Bye.